Hey everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. I've got another Pocket Thoughts project for you. Um, I am using the largest die here and the cute little wedding ring. Um, I've created a little pull out pocket card for you using the Frames and Flowers Specialty Designer Series Paper Pack. This is a really fun pack of paper. It comes with all of these die cuts that you punch out of the paper. Um, so many different variations that you could use. Ooh, I like that one. I think maybe we'll use that one this time. I don't know. We'll look through them in a minute, but you get uh, several sheets of pattern paper and then just all of these uh, die cut frames and flowers. Really a unique set from Stampin' Up. Um, I am also using this sentiment right here. May the Lord bless you and keep you from courage and faith. I thought that would go great with our little wedding ring. Okay, well, let's get started. This is a relatively easy project. You're gonna cut out the largest frame from uh, the designer series paper. I'm using a different pattern here. And you're gonna fold in those scored lines that the die puts for you. And then you want to put on some tear and tape. The tear and tape is the perfect width for our tabs. See if I can get this to behave. Come on, get on there, right there. Oh my goodness, I'm all thumbs. And then you just tear that right there. Now I'm not using a regular card base. I'm just using a four and a by four and a fourth by five and a half inch piece of petal pink. It's just a quarter sheet of cardstock. And then I've cut another piece of the designer series paper, four by five and a fourth. And I'm going to put that right on there like that. And then we'll take the backing off of our tear and tape. You could use liquid glue here if you'd like to. Um, I made a bunch of swaps using the pockets and that's what I used was tear, uh, glue, liquid glue. All right, we're gonna put that right in the middle. Isn't that a beautiful color combination? I think on my original, the DSP went out a little bit further. See that? I think I cut it four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And here I just cut it a little bit shorter, four by five and a fourth. So you decide. You'll get more pieces out of your sheet if you cut it four inches than if you cut it four and an eighth. You'll, you'll get one or two less. Okay, now for the inside pocket, I have cut a piece of petal pink cardstock. And I've cut, this is one of our new little dies. Um, our tab die, you can get it actually as a die or as a punch. I have it in both and I can't decide which one I like best. Just depends on my mood. Now you're gonna fold that over. I've cut it out in Calypso Coral. And you know what, I didn't put it centri centrally located. We need it centrally located on here. So it'll fit in that, down in that little notch like that. And then I'm just gonna get a little piece of our petal pink ribbon to match our petal pink cardstock. Put that there. And a little staple will hold it in place. Now I'm gonna use a cute little Calypso Coral Heart. This is also in the Pocket Thoughts. Um, let's see, what do, how do I wanna do this? Hmm, the Pocket Thoughts. Stamp set, there we go. Now, if you wanted to turn this into a gift card holder, just put a strip of designer series paper here and tuck that gift card right in there. This is a wedding card, so that might be something that you're giving as a wedding present. All right, let's do the ring. Now, I am gonna take Memento Black, and we're gonna stamp that ring right in the middle on basic white. Now I wanted my ring to be gold, but I don't have gold ink, but I do have wild wheat, which is very similar to gold. And I'm gonna stamp this inner circle, but I'm gonna stamp it off because it's a little bit too dark. And then I'm just gonna line that up and put that right there. Just kind of give it a light golden look. You could also use your wild wheat stampin' blends if you want. And then just take your Wink of Stella and give that diamond 
some glimmer. Okay, let's cut this out. Just take your paper snips and we're just gonna go around the outside edge. If you, <coughs> well, excuse me, I don't know where that came from. If you don't want a fussy cut, you could stamp this directly on the circle, but I like to fussy cut, so I tend to, to do that. All right, go all the way around, just leave kind of like a little white border around it. There we go. Now I have a um, Spotlight on Nature die, beautiful white die, and I'm gonna stamp the sentiment. And what I found is it has the Bible verse right here, but I couldn't get it to fit with the flowers that I had. So I'm just gonna leave it off and stamp this kind of up here on the left quadrant. Oh, I did a terrible job. Let's try that again, flip it over. Let's ink that a little bit better in Lost Lagoon. Much, much better. I don't know what was going on there. And then let's look. Um, I pulled out that kind of half circle foliage. Do we like that? I kind of do like that. Let's use that one. You have a lot of options there in the uh, frames and the flowers designer series paper. So pull it all out, play around with it, see what you like the best. And then we can take this little ring, kind of tuck that in there. Let's angle it a little bit like that. And then I'm gonna again get those little hearts and just stamp them right there. All right, now all we have to do is put this on the front of our pocket and how easy was that really if you are in a hurry you're like oh my gosh we're headed to a wedding or a shower and i didn't make anything if you pull out these products you'll have something in about five minutes look at that well that is pretty you know let's see i feel like it needs a little bit of color don't you so what if i got these flowers i mean we could just play around with this forever Ooh, ooh what about this one Oh yeah, I like that, but will that cover up the ring? Let's see. Mm, I don't know, guys, I don't know. Play around with what you have and see, maybe just like that. Let's try that one. It brings in a little bit of that peach color. Like that, and we could still put this little flower like that. Oh yes, I like that. And you're picking up that Calypso coral from the tab, like that. There, now we're talking. Okay, you guys, make sure you click the link here on YouTube. Go back to my blog. I've got two other Pocket Thoughts projects for you. And, of course, the free PDF. Happy stamping. Bye.